Hey guys, welcome to episode number 8, week number 8 of the NFL prediction. So we're going to be predicting week number 8. Um, yeah, week number 7 was actually better than I thought. Um, so let's go through week number 7 scores first, and then we will start with week number 8 prediction. Alright, so the Sunday night game last last week was the Eagles versus the Giants, and the Eagles won 22-21. to um, Big win, I... The Eagles looked terrible in that game, and I was surprised that they ended up winning. Um, there was like that one big play that uh, Daniel Jones did, where he's running down the field, eighty miles, you know, eighty yards, and he falls flat on his face before he gets to the end zone. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> they ended up scoring a touchdown anyway, so that was not a play for them to lose, but it was funny nonetheless. Um, so the Eagles won twenty-two to twenty-one. Uh, the second game was the Saints versus the Panthers. Another good, slow-scoring, uh, another um, close game. The Saints won 27-24. to I picked the Saints to win, of course. So I started off 2-0. Uh, next was the Bills versus the Jets. I thought the Bills were going to just run all over them. But it ended up being only 18-10. to But the Bills did win, so that's all that matters. So they're 3-0. Uh, the Browns versus the Bengals. The Browns won 37 to 34. OBJ Odell Beckham Jr. is out for the year. Um, the Bengals are looking good. They're looking really good. Um, they're getting teams to the limit here, and uh, I can see them winning a couple more games if Joe Burrow's can play the way he's playing. Uh, the Washington just beat up on the Cowboys, 35 to three. I I picked the um, Washington as well. I picked the Browns before, so right there I am one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and O. Oh. Uh, the next was the Packers versus Texans. Texans. The Packers. Aaron Rodgers to uh, um, uh, his receiver. Oh my gosh! Well, who? I forget his name. Why can't I think of his name? All day long, they were they were up and on the field. The Packers win thirty-five to twenty. Um, the Lions beat the Texans twenty-three to twenty-two. Another um, close game. And then the first game that I lose, the Steelers versus the Titans. And the Steelers beat my beloved Titans 27 to 24. It was actually like 27 to like 3 going into half. So the Titans actually made it close. And they actually made it. Um, they actually had a field goal to tie the game at the end of the game. But they missed the field goal. So I lose my first game. I go 7 1. <clears throat> I picked the Seahawks to beat the Cardinals. The Cardinals won 37 to 34. Um. The Chiefs versus the Broncos. I picked the Chiefs. The Chiefs won 41 to 16. Uh, the Chargers beat the Jags 39 to 29. I picked them as well. I picked the Niners to beat the Patriots. The Niners won 33 to 6. Uh, the Patriots offense looks absolutely terrible. Yeah, I'm like the how can the Patriots look so good against KC and then so bad for the next two weeks? Uh, the Buccaneers versus the Raiders. I picked the Buccaneers to win and they won 45 to 20. And then the Bears versus the Rams. And the Rams won Monday night game 24 to 10. All right, so that makes me go. That made me 11 and 2 for the week, which is awesome. Great. What a great week. All right, so we're going to start off with the Thursday night game, which is the Falcons versus the Panthers. This one's a tough one to pick. I think, it's, I think the Panthers are going to end up winning this game. Uh, they're at home and. Yeah, so my, my pick for this is the Panthers to win. Uh, the Vikings versus the Packers. This one's a tough one. They played a very good week one match. Week two, this week, uh, week eight should be very good as well. Um, their second match of the year. I'm going to pick the Packers to win this one. Devontae Adams. I don't know why it took me so long to make that. That's the receiver. He had an unbelievable game last week. Hundred and what thirteen catches, hundred and six, hundred and thirty-six yards or something like that. Awesome, awesome game. I'm gonna pick the Packers to win this one. I think the Packers will win. Uh, the Titans versus the Bengals. I'm gonna pick the Titans to win this one. I don't think the Bengals are good enough to beat my Titans quite yet. Uh, they are impressing me the last few weeks, but I think the Titans will have too much this week. The Jets versus the Chiefs. I think, that, I think hopefully it's an easy one. I'm picking the Chiefs to win that one. I don't see I don't see the Jets being able to slow down the Chiefs. It should be interesting, though, because 
um, Le'Veon Bell, who played for the Jets, will be playing for the Chiefs in this game. So, I'm like, <laughs> let's hope that Le'Veon Bell has a huge game. Uh, the Colts versus the Lions. I'm going to pick the Lions. Um, it seems like every time I pick the Lions, they lose. But last week, they didn't. So, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to keep riding them. And, yeah, I think the Lions will have too much against the Colts. The Colts, I, I don't know. I, they're just so... I would like to say they're up and down. They're just a good team that can't win, like, basically. Now, the Steelers versus the Ravens. This is another huge matchup. Oh, man, the Steelers versus the Ravens. Steelers are looking good. The Ravens are looking good. Uh, Steelers are undefeated. I'm going, to, I'm going to go on a limb. I'm going to pick the Ravens in this one. I think... Uh, Right, you have Jackson. I'm like he's unbelievable. I th I think that if the Ravens can develop this into a running game, slow the game down a bit. I think they will have what it takes to beat the Steelers, and Steelers will have their first loss of the year. Uh, Rams versus the Dolphins. I think that the Steelers are the only undefeated team as well. So I think week number eight will there'll be no more undefeated teams. Uh, Rams versus the Dolphins. If Rams will. To destroy the Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins are starting Tua, uh, which is uh, their rookie quarterback. Um, but I think the Rams, the, the Rams will have too much. Uh, the Patriots versus the Bills. The Bills will win this one. They'll beat the Patriots. Uh, the Ravens. The Raiders versus the Browns. I don't pick. I don't pick the Raiders in this one. The Browns, especially without um, OBJ now. Um, even though it seems like their offense never really ran through OBJ like it did in New York, um, it's still a loss that I think that they will they'll regret by the end of the year. Uh, the Chargers versus the Broncos. I'm gonna pick the Chargers in this one. I think the Chargers are they're a good team under um, the rookie Justin Herbert and the Broncos. I think both of them are pretty even. A lot of these matchups this week is uh, the teams are even. I'm like it's gonna be tough. It's like a lot like last week. I got I got some wins because it was like so close. I think it's the same thing this week. I'm like oh, some of those games I might I might have won last week. I think I might lose this week. Um, but yeah, this one's a tough one. But I think the Chargers will bring it out. Uh, the Saints versus the Bears. I'm gonna pick the Saints in this one. Uh, the 49ers versus the Seahawks. I'm gonna pick the Seahawks to win that. Uh, Cowboys versus the Eagles. I think the Eagles have, will have too much against the Cowboys. The Cowboys just stink. Like especially Andy Dalton, if uh, if he's out with a concussion, uh, they they'll be on their third string quarterback. They'll be they're, they're done. <clears throat> the Buccaneers versus the Giants. I'm gonna pick Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is they're legit. They're legit, and especially watch it for them. In week number nine, they signed Antonio Brown. Um, Perennial all-star wide receiver that played for the Steelers. Had his best years in, the, in Pittsburgh. Uh, but if he can come into Tampa and learn under Tom Brady, I think that he could have he could have a good couple seasons if he can if his behavior can just just behave yourself into Tom Brown. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is week number 8. My record so far is 75 wins, 32 losses. My picks this week are the Panthers, the Packers, the Titans, the Chiefs, the Lions, the Rams, the... Sorry, the Ravens, the Rams, the Bills, the Raiders, the Saints, the Seahawks, Eagles, and Buccaneers. Those are my... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 games. All right, those are my picks. Let's see how I do. All right, guys, so remember to subscribe to the Cali Joy Squad. Hit that notification button so you don't miss out on your videos. Smash that thumbs up button. Share with friends. Until next time, peace out.